Welcome to our live training session here. We're going to be learning how to tune a 2014 Nissan 370Z using our UpRev software tuning suite. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. We're going to find it has a built VQ37 engine. It has forged pistons and rods. It has a stock uh, cylinder heads, it has stock camshafts, so it's relatively mild when the modifications that have been done. It also is running a stock intake manifold and stock throttle body. Now it has been fitted with an aftermarket turbocharger kit, so it's a custom turbo kit using a comp oilless 67 mil turbo and it has a large front mount intercooler dual turbo smart external waste gates and a tile blow off valve and all custom charge pipes it also has a three inch turbo back exhaust on it so it's uh, been set up so it's going to make power it has a decent sized turbo and we're going to expect it make at least 500 horsepower with this now we're going to be mapping it on 93 octane and speaking of fuel We've upgraded the fuel system on this car as well. So it has ID 2200cc injectors. It has a Walbro 450 liter per hour fuel pump that has a return line style conversion on it. So it's running an aftermarket external regulator and the return line is going back to the tank and it's converted from the returnless to return style system. Now, in addition to this, we have a Gretti Profac B boost controller. They're going to be setting up and turning up the boost in our training tutorial here. So let's jump into our video so we can learn how to create our base file, get our engine fired up, and start our live training process. Welcome to our live training session here with our Nissan 370Z. Now we just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our ROM editor tuning suite so we can begin creating our base file and start a calibration process. So moving into our ROM editor software here, we can find that I'm in the offline mode, meaning I have the key off on the car. I do have my uprev cable plugged into my laptop, plugged into the OBD2 port, but we haven't established up here any um, communications. We can see cable not detected. That's fine. Um, previous to starting to film, I did connect, I did power cycle onto the ECU, and I was reading what the ECU part number was going to be. So the ROM ID that we need to deal with right now to look up in the upper rev directory is going to be a 1EA3D. That's what the uh, stock equivalent file that we need to grab right from uprev uh, is going to be, and then we can start to work with that and use that to build our base file off of, because that's what this ECU is running for a ROM ID. So we're going to take this uh, information right here, I'm going to copy it, and we're going to move down in here to our bottom area, Get Tune and Stock Files. When we click this, this allows us to search the uprev directory for a ROM ID. So we can download a stock equivalent and download a back to stock equivalent ROM as well. We want to save that into a folder so we can always return it back to stock. And then we have, again, our existing base file that we can start off with here. So I'm going to go here to my ROM and I'm going to go paste it. We can find here that's going to look up this, again, particular ROM ID that we're working with. And I'm going to go here and look for search. Now give us a second as so you can find these ROMs here available. So this is going to be the ROM that we work with. This is going to be the back to stock ROM in case we want to return the car back to its original condition. So I'm going to go and grab both of these. I'm going to use shift, then up. I'm going to highlight both and then go download selected ROMs. It's going to download them. We're going to be moving them into a folder under my documents. That's where I'm going to be saving this. I have a subfolder here called uprev. So we'll move down in here and that's uprev. Then I have a bunch of different folders in here of different projects I've been working on. So I'm going to use my uprev folder, say make new folder, and then we're going to be saving this as its own unique name. So I'll call this EPA 370Z. So I know exactly what this project is going to be called. And then double click in here, click on the folder it's to say, and then we'll click OK. And we can see it's downloading these files into that folder. So it's going to be finishing up here. All right, downloads are complete. So we're going to close this out now. And the next step here is to actually open up the file within our ROM editor software so we can begin editing it and working with it. So we're going to move in here to edit tune file. And then we're going to look for the folder that we're working with here. So EPA 370Z. Let's click on that. And now we can find those two files that we've downloaded for the ROM for this car in, in ECU. So we can find the back to stock and then we find our ROM that we're going to be working with. So the 1EA3D is the ROM that I'm going to be choosing here and click open. And now we're going to be able to start to create our base file. So we're going to go down here in our navigation tree from top to bottom, starting at the very top here and just work our way down and edit all of the pertinent details for this vehicle so that when we fire it up and get it running in the next video, we'll have successful results. We're not going to find that we have any kind of odd issues going on. We're trying to, going to try to represent everything as best as we can. So let's move in here to our table tree and we'll go here and first expand out the fuel area. 
Now you'll find that we have a lot of folders in here, so air fuel ratio calculations. We can see here we have some things that we can edit. If we click on this, we find that it's grayed out or it's not able to be opened up. Um, it's not able to be edited. And that's because I have the non-beta version of the software here running. So if we actually go to file and we look up here, we can see show beta tables or ignore beta tables. And right now I don't have that check of show beta tables. I don't wanna go in muddy up the waters here and introduce a lot of these additional tables that Uprev has been introducing into the ROM structure. Now, it's great that they're adding a lot of features and functions, but for my testing, I found a lot of inconsistencies and a lot of the, the, the coding that has been done doesn't work. If we simply ignore it and don't edit it, we don't have any problems. So I've been getting a lot of problems probably in the last six months to a year since they've been introducing a lot of the code in various types of ROMs. It's not going to be just the 370. It's been the G37s, the G35s, the 350Zs, the 370s, all just kind of as a whole. Uh, I've been finding mixed results with the beta uh, feature. So beta is meaning that it's not necessarily tested. Now, if you have a problem, you can certainly go to uprev and complain that there's an issue with something that's in the beta format that may or may not fix it. Again, I don't want to introduce any of that. I want to keep this process simple and use the non-beta tables. So we'll find here in our air fuel ratio calculation, so air fuel timing, we can find that that's not able to be edited because we're not showing in the beta mode. Now, when we show beta, it's going to show a lot of different tables in here. None of them are really pertinent to anything we need to do for this video and for this tuning application. So that's why I'm going to keep things simple and just keep it to the main tables that we've covered and talked about within the training course. So let's close our air fuel ratio calculations. Under cranking here, we're going to get into a whole bunch of tables that need to be edited. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.